Hello ladies, today we talk about how to date multiple men at a time and the issues associated uh, with dating multiple men at a time because it is something that, number one, a lot of women, like one of my girlfriends who's visiting me now, she's totally mind blown that dating multiple men at a time is even a thing and that's how she should be dating. And I also have um, a, a client in the program that has asked this question that she's having a very hard time dating multiple men at a time or how we call funneling. And I'm just going to read that post um, to you. So she's saying, I'm having a really, and by the way, those of you who I'm creating this video for all the clients in my program, but also for all the women who are following me, because I feel like all of us, all of you can benefit from it. And I'm going to try to address uh, these two groups. And those of you who are not in my program, please know that I'll be mentioning some things and tools that we teach in the program. And I'm going to, and, and I'm, I mean, I'm hoping that as I'm talking to my clients, you also understand that it's not something that you just do as a mindset trick. It's something that you really need to embody and do some internal work to actually come to a place of power when you're dating. So here's what this woman says. She says, I'm having a really hard time funneling and dating numerous men at once. Do you tell them you're dating others and when? When I do, they don't like it. They even decide to bow out. They always assume that they are the only one I'm dating. I've tried saying it right away or waiting a few dates. Uh, both go badly. If I keep it to myself that I'm sneaking around. Do you literally say, sorry, I can't do Tuesday night. I have a date. <laughs> or lie and say you're going to dinner with a friend. And once I go out with someone a couple of times, they want to see me like twice a week. That's really all the time I have to give a man. I can't seem to more, I can't seem to see more than one at a time because I can't do four dates, four times a week with two men or even six times a week with three men. I'm a busy woman and I also enjoy time to myself. Not sure what to do here. Currently I'm seeing two and I like both equally in different ways. I've been out with both of them four to five times. They don't know about each other, but we aren't exclusive, but I can tell them, but I can tell it's coming from both. So this is a really important question that I want to address because obviously, you know, this woman is not the only one who's struggling with it. And, and yeah, it's, it's a very common question. So the first thing, let's talk about what funneling is and why this woman is bringing funneling. Funneling means that you're always dating at least three men at a time. That's the pro and, and why it's called the funnel is because it's literally like a reverted, uh, sorry, inverted pyramid where there's three stages to the dating funnel actually. And the, the, the stage that this woman is referring to is actually the second stage. So the first stage of the dating funnel is awareness, where you put yourself into the best position where you can attract the most amount of men. This is something, you know, you are on one, two, three dating apps and, you know, you make sure that your profile is, is um, interesting and attractive. And then men start approaching you, asking out for dates or you, it's real life, right? Like I always tell my clients, go by yourself to a bar once a week, uh, go to different events twice a week. So you are pro you're approachable and there's a whole mindset around it. I need to be intentional about dating, which means that I need, I need to be going out and putting myself into the best position to be approached. And sometimes literally it is a numbers game. Like if you sit down, if you sit at home and kind of go out once a month with girlfriends, expecting that men will fall on you left and right, that's not how we do it. Literally the, 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 the more you expose to men, yourself to men, the more you're going to be approached by more men and therefore you increase your chances of attracting uh, the right guy and being in a relationship with him. So that's stage number one, where you're putting yourself into the best position. Sounds like this woman, let's call her Jennifer. Jennifer doesn't have a problem with attracting men. Uh, she's talking about the second stage. So the second stage of the dating funnel is where you start. To, so all of these men are approaching you and ask you for your number or whatever, and you decide. So let's say, Let's take an example. I don't know. 10 men approached you this week, right? Which for some women might be like crazy, but let's say 10 men approached you this week, right? Or this month. Um, so the second stage of the dating funnel, normally out of these 10, of course, majority of them, probably 80% of them, or maybe half of them are not going to be a good fit for you. Not going to be a good match because of many different reasons. You don't like how he looks like, he looks like some, whatever the reasons are, but the 50%, the other 50% or the 20%, depending on what kind of men approaching you, where are you going, stuff like that, your strategy, um, you're going to like, and you're going to give them your number or you match on a dating app or whatever. And then they invite you for dates right? So 
this dating stage funnel, the second stage is actual dating. Now let's clarify what dating means because there's a lot of confusion about, well, what is dating? Because some people think that even with my girlfriend yesterday, I was talking about, she was like, well, when I'm dating, especially when I'm sleeping already with a man, I'm just doing one man at a time. And that's how it is in my culture. That's how I know how to do it. And she's like, what? You, you're supposed to do it with many and you can sleep with many men. She was like totally confused. I'm like, fuck, yes, you are not supposed to, but you can. And let's talk about what dating is. So dating is a stage in your, how shall I say, find, finding a potential suitor when through the dating process, you are filtering out uh, men who you don't like and you are getting to know men that you do like and what you like and who you are and what do you like with in men and how do you feel with them? So if you are doing that with one man at a time, which is, you know, I understand that's how women have been dating so far. Uh, that's not how, by the way, men are dating. Men are programmed, evolutionary speaking, to date multiple women at a time in order to, you know, technically, evolutionary speaking, impregnate as many women as possible at a time. Men are a, a lot more sexually active. They seek variety, so on and so forth. So in today's world, what I recommend that you do in order to, there's so many benefits to doing this and I'll, and I'll, and I'll go through them. So what, what I recommend you do is that you do not focus on one man at a time, but you maximize your chances of actually getting into a relationship or being claimed, how I call it, by a man that is the best out of the men that you're dating. Because when you meet a man or you, yeah, I call it stumble upon a man at a party that might be just a, a, a great guy, like you don't know, he might be your next husband, but he might not be, right? But if you date one man at a time, and let's say, I mean, I think on average, it might take you like four to six months, maybe longer to figure out like, is he the right guy or not? And give him a chance and everything. And that just leads you down the path of uh, so many confusions and so much stress and, and just heartache. Like that's what I've seen because what happens is that, and it's different for men and women, especially when you start sleeping with a guy. So a typical scenario is let's say you go to a party, you meet this guy and he's attractive and something's happening there. You're not sure. And he starts calling you and you go out. You've had four dates. Let's say you sleep with him on date number five. He introduces you to his friends and he's checking in on your whatever, right? And you think that you are in a relationship while he is nowhere close to that. In fact, he might still have his dating profile on a dating app and he might still actually see other women as in like he might be attracted to other women and dating other women. As much as it hurts you to hear that, which I know is very uncomfortable, obviously, because evolutionary, we are programmed not to be polyamorous. Uh, I mean, this could be potentially argued, but, <laughs> you know, especially for women, we want commitment for a man from a man. It's an emotional connection that we have with a man. It's not, it's never just sex. So you think you're in a relationship, but he's totally not there yet. And so this is why as women today in the, in the modern dating world, we look at dating men, which is dating means you are simply getting to know each other. There is absolutely no commitment at this stage and there should not be. Because if, if you are on a second date with a man or on a third date, like you've met this guy three times and let's say you even slept with him, whatever, you know, like I slept with my husband on the first date and it was terrible. And then he was a hell no. And it ended up a yes. And by the way, I'm going to release a whole series with my husband about our story. It's quite incredible. And by the way, I was funneling and there came a moment where uh, everything would like he found out there was there was a man coming to see me I was dating I was single and we actually talk about this on the podcast uh, it, it's very uncomfortable when this happens but this has to happen so that so that commitment conversation arises and there's no assumption there has to be clarity especially for you as a woman this is how you do not end up in situationships as I call them all of us have been there all women have been in this like 
I'm sleeping with a guy and I feel like he's my boyfriend, but he's not acting like it. And I don't want to bring it up because it's weird. I don't want to be needy, but also I'm not sure where this is got like, it's a whole fucking mess. You don't want to be in a mess. You don't want to be in a situation. So if you have any doubts about whether this is a relationship or not, just assume that you're single. So this whole funnel thing is dare I say, brilliant, because it helps you not focus on one man and think that you're in a relationship. If you told if he told you cute little things that you're amazing and he can see potential in you for something in the future. You know, if you're a woman like me, you know how we, like a man tells you, uh, it sends you a text message that he might just, I don't know, like ha- have an emotional, um, emotional fart, I wanted to say. I have an emotional inclination towards you, whatever that was. And he just sends you a text message that says, you're an amazing woman. He just wrote, you're an amazing woman, just because in the moment he felt that. And what you do, what I did, and so many other women do, I dwell on this for days, weeks, sometimes even months, thinking that, oh my God, this is my husband. Like, what? In what world did I make that conclusion? Like, I, I know, I've been there. And then you start counting the days and why didn't he call me? So all of that doesn't need to happen and has to stop for women. So how do you do that? You funnel. You date multiple men at a time, which is completely normal. When you date multiple men at a time, you are not lying to anyone. You are not uh, sneaking around. There's none of that because... You are a single woman and you're getting to know people. It's like, you know, finding friends. You know, you're not best friends with someone on the second day that you went to for coffee. No, there's absolutely no commitment. And so if there's no commitment, you are single and you are dating. There should be zero guilt about dating different different types of men. Now, situations arise. Like this, Jennifer's question is like, do I tell them? No, you don't. Because you do not own anyone an explanation about who you're dating, who you're seeing, and so on and so forth. This man does not have monopoly on your time because you are just dating because he's seen you like twice or even because you had sex. And if a man, you know, so so do you tell them? No, you don't. And if they ask you, what are you doing on Tuesday? I'm busy. I'm seeing a friend. That's it. You don't need to explain where you're going. You don't need to explain who you're seeing. It's none of his business. And if he asks you who you're seeing, you're saying, I'm seeing a friend, period. Now, so number one, Jennifer, you do not need to uh, come to a date and like spill out your bills and say, hey, by the way, I'm also dating three men at a time. Like no one, is it going to feel good in your body? No, (laughs) you know, so you don't tell men about this, but it doesn't mean that you're lying. If he is asking you, are you seeing other men? You say, yes, I'm seeing other men because I'm single. I was not aware. Use that language. I was not aware that we are exclusive and in a relationship. By the way, there's a difference between being exclusive and in a relationship. Being exclusive means that this man wants to see you and sleep only with you. Being in a relationship, that means that this man has taken responsibility and wants to be in a relationship with you, there is commitment. And that's why we always say that a man has to bring commitment forward. Because we ladies are very, very quick on day two, if we find this amazing, perfect specimen of a man, we want to marry him right away. For guys, it doesn't work like that. Men who want to, first of all, commitment is something that men take very seriously. And they need to be 100% sure about a girl. And that's who you want to be. (laughs) You want to be that. Dating from a position of power means that you focus on yourself. You know you are the prize. And you know that any man, obviously you don't come from this from a narcissistic perspective, a selfish or whatever. I still, like, when I met my husband, I told him multiple times I'm amazing because I feel that I, I still feel that I'm amazing and he's lucky to be my husband. I'm lucky to be his wife as well. But I hold that power in my body that I feel that I'm such an incredible person and an amazing woman. I have to give a lot to a man than to myself and to the world. So a man, it would be a gift for a man to be in my presence and to be dating me. So if he wants to be with me, he better pursue me. He better court me. And he better come to me and ask me a question. Would you like to be, to be my girlfriend? Would you like to 
come live with me? Would you like to meet my parents? And so on and so forth. So the claim has to come from him because I know that we as women are so quick to jump into a relationship or like most women, if you ask them, they want to be in a relationship with a man. Most, most men, if you ask them, they're like, uh, dip, the, <laughs> it's complete opposite. You ask most men, would you sleep with a woman on the first date? 99% would say yes. You ask most men, most women, they would say absolutely not. But if you ask most women, what do you want from a man or what are you looking for? They will almost always say, I want a relationship. I mean, of course, there's women who want one night stands and everything. But casual dating or casual sex is much more common for men than for women. There's, there's reasons for that. So to avoid, <laughs> to avoid putting all of your eggs in one basket and having these like being completely immersed in why he didn't call, why am I doing da, 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 all of that noise needs to get out of your head because you as a woman are dating and you are seeing multiple men at a time. That is the new reality of dating today. If you are successful, ambitious, beautiful woman who's doing personal growth, you've got a lot to offer girlfriend and you are in high demand. And when you are in high demand, you're dating multiple men and you're not sitting there waiting for one guy to message you. So that's why finally is, is extremely important seeing, not even seeing, but even having that mindset, it's like shopping for shoes. So if a man asks you again, are you seeing other men? You said, you say, well, I'm dating because I'm single. I was not aware that we are in a relationship, that conversation, we were exclusive and in a relationship because this conversation has never been brought up. So a man who assumes that he's in a relationship with you or has monopoly on your time or watch how a man behaves. Of course it can get, you know, especially when things are getting quite serious, it can be quite a, uh, quite a hurtful moment for a man to realize, oh shit, we've been like seeing each other for months and sleeping with each other for months, and she has been seeing other men. So this is a moment to explain your position. Explain your position for, for, to a man. This is what I tell, you know, I've coached a woman recently through this. Explain the fact that, hey, John, I realize that you might be hurt, and I can understand how hurtful that is, but I'd like for you to listen to, to hear me out. This is my position because in the past, I have assumed that I've been in a relationship with many men especially after we slept together. And in the past, that hurt me so much because I know myself and so many and most women, would I would assume that we are in a relationship and that actually hurt me because I knew that the guy, like in the end, it turned out that the man that I was seeing wasn't in a relationship with me. So I chose a different strategy at this moment in time. And I like you. I like spending time with you, but putting all of my eggs in one basket like that and assuming that we are in a relationship based on previous uh, experience has not led me down to a great path. So I, I'm choosing a different path. That's it. You just explain your position. And a man, in my opinion, should understand that. Or actually he will say, oh, no, 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 we are together. Would you be my girlfriend? I want to see just you. We're in a relationship. You know, all right? So there needs to be a clarification in the dating process. And that's why you're dating multiple men at a time. So to answer Jennifer's question, you do not lie. You do not lie. You just, uh, you don't tell it also directly if he asks you because, well, he, you say, I wasn't aware that we're in a relationship, but there's no need to lie and sneak around or whatever. There's none of that. You need to embody that whole mindset of, dating from a position of power. Now, your second question about, they want to see me like twice a week. That's really all the time I have to give to a man. Okay. Fair enough. You're a busy woman. Mm, all that. Okay. Now, my question to you is, I know that you want to be in a relationship with create a family with a man, right? So from that place, it's like, if you only have twice a week, probably dinner time to give to a man, where is the time for you to have a relationship with a man? How is that going to work? How is that going to happen? <laughs> right? So, of course, like when, when you think about, I need to date three men at a time, that means that I'm dating six, I have, 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 have six dates with different men every week. That's a lot. And that's overwhelming. Now, you don't need to, you don't need to have two dates with every single man in your funnel every week. 
you can have a lunch on a Saturday with a man, you can have dinner on a Friday night, and you can have a dinner on a Monday. And people travel, things happen, so you're fluid with that. There's no specific schedule. It's not like Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and it's like John, and then you have your schedules and stuff, right? It's not as uh, rigid as that. It's a mentality and a mindset that you use. So I've answered your question here, but I also know, Jennifer, and I'm speaking now to my clients, um, and those of you who are listening, I think it's going to be interesting to you. Jennifer, I know you did another post in our group, which said that you've been in the program for 10 weeks, you haven't attended any of the coaching calls, and you flowed like three times. That is the actual problem, not what you're struggling with. So whatever I just told you about the dating funnel and everything, is, is, you know, it's a mindset thing, but now you can tell yourself all these things and it's still going to be hard. It's, it's really hard to do this. If you come from, I need to date three men, I need to date three men. Do I lie? Like all of that stuff is on the surface in your head, how you embody this powerful position in dating as a woman is going through a whole personal growth process, which is what the program, the claim program is about. And there's three elements to that. Number one is you, um, number one is there's a whole program, right? That you go module by module, you do the work, you watch the lectures, you do all of the worksheets and you do your feminine flow. The feminine flow and Jennifer, you said that you flowed only three times. Well, you know the power of feminine embodiment, what we do as women in order to, you know, this is why the personal growth today, I mean, personal growth is amazing. I love it. But most of it is very heady and in your head. You tell yourself affirmations. I am good enough. I, I, I'm supposed to be funneling. I'm amazing. I'm amazing. Well, it doesn't work like that. You need to actually feel in your body. Where in your body? How does it feel when you're good enough? <laughs> right? You need to embody. And you also mentioned you can't be vulnerable with men well of course this is why we see all these issues with funneling women who funnel successfully and have no problem with funneling are the women who have embodied their true feminine essence and their amazing position of power in dating because a woman who like how do you think models date i mean i'm not talking about all i mean models have issues on themselves but a woman in high demand is a woman who's so in love with herself with her body and who she is as a woman she knows she's a gift to the right man so she doesn't have any problems with any of that because she knows how to hold your boundaries. She knows how to communicate with men. And it comes natural to her to be attracting many men and for many men to take her out on dates. And she's just sitting there choosing because females choose. Our choice of a mate, long-term mate, it has a much more, is a, has much more serious consequences than for men. That's why, that's why you, you date like that. Because as a woman, you can't afford to make the wrong choice. Because what happens? What happens is that you get in a relationship, you stumble upon a relationship, you stumble upon marriage. Oh, my God, he proposed. <gasps> you know? And then it all go like, that's it. You forget about yourself. You have children with this man. And who carries the burden of parental investment? Mostly. You as the woman. <laughs> because you spend at least three years of your life rearing a child, nurturing a child. He doesn't. All the male has to do is to technically impregnate you and leave. He can leave. <laughs> and so, of course, there's, I would say most men, I believe that obviously most men are great men. Um, most men are great men. And so most men are good fathers as well. So anyways, so that's how you do it. And so how you do it is, 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 is through using the program, through personal growth. There's a whole program, first element. The second element, twice a week we do group coaching calls. So Jennifer, you have to attend the group coaching calls because there we do embodiment practices. There you see how I coach other women. There you see that you're not the only one. There you, see, there you ask questions. There you being coached and so on and so forth. It's really important. Like you got to show up and, and immerse yourself into this work. And the third element is... Um, is the community, which is obviously you are participating in, which I'm really happy about. So, and your flow, your feminine flow as a practice is the fundamental tool that is going to help you get out of your head and embody who you are as a woman. So that would be my answer to that. I hope this was helpful. And 
And that's why we funnel, and that's how we funnel. It's not only that we understand the mindset around it in the big picture, but we also do the work in the program. We also do embodied boundaries. What is your yes? What is your no? That's all module four. So Jennifer, what you need to do is go through the program step by step, do all of the exercises, show up on the calls. I'm happy to hold space and support you in any, every single way. The, the, the program, trust the process. It has all the steps for you to come. And by the way, the program has five different modules, and we only talk about men in module four which is like week eight or nine, because this program is not about funneling or men or whatever. This program is about you. And it's helping you come to that after you've started to do your feminine flow, started observing polarities, done module two, which is all about excavating all of those limiting beliefs that are happening for you. You can't funnel properly because there is a belief inside, deep down at the core. Perhaps you feel like you're not good enough to date multiple men at a time. <laughs> perhaps you feel that you're not worthy of having a relationship and therefore you're building all these walls around I only can do two dates because that's that's all the time that I have for a man that's your language how are you going to be in a relationship with a man because a relationship requires much more than dinner twice a week a marriage and a family requires so much more <laughs> than that so the dating process is just training ground so I hope this was helpful for all of you, and let me know if you have any questions.